Morning guys, so it's still a bit early here in Pabuk Kale, but uh, we need to go up there in the Cotton Castle because it's uh, Richard's first time to come here in Pabuk Kale, we want to show him around. So it's still like half past six in the morning, but we need to go up there. Um, he's gonna watch uh, the hot air balloon and also he wanna swim in Cleopatra's pool, so yeah, I'll see you up there. Good morning. Welcome to Pamukkale. Good morning. Good morning. Excited? Good. Yes, this is my dream. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've just arrived um, in Heriopolis, top of the hill. God, we didn't manage to um, watch the um, hot air balloons um, from starting to lead it up. And then they start to fly now, so um, we need to go and take some videos. Look, there's lots of tourists coming in already. It's only seven in the morning. Pamukkale is opening hours of between half past seven in the morning until six in the evening. You can buy the tickets from the bus office until about half past five in the evening. That costs about 200 Turkish lira. Pamukkale's thermal pools and Heriopolis ruins are open to visit every single day of the week. And if you want to see at Cleopatra's pool, that costs an additional 35 lira. So enjoy. All right, guys, so we need to move forward. Oh, God, Richard and... AJ is still doing some photos and videos, but I can't. Um, it's freezing as well here in the morning. So yeah, I was gonna go with some other tourists. I want to swim in um, Cleopatra's pool this time because last time I didn't um, at all. Um, I didn't have any time to do that. So yeah, look, sunrise is really beautiful here. I can come here every single year. I mean, Pawukal is just amazing. Um, yeah. I love it. I love it. So, love it so far. That's correct. Yes, Lulitang yeah. Turkey. Grab. Well, I'm glad we came here last night. Yes. So, Lulitang Turkey, guys, punta kayo in Turkey. It's so sulit. You have to go. You have to see this. Exactly. Alright guys, so I just remembered uh, years ago you know, we were here, um, they don't have any hot air balloons. I think it, just, it was just recently when they started doing this. Also paragliding, um, I'm not very sure but I didn't see anything that was seven years ago when I, was, when I first came here in Tawokale. So it's um, really attracted loads of tourists. Well, mostly Asian tourists here. And last time as well, I didn't manage to go to those um, ruins. Which I promised to go there, but I didn't because we didn't have much time. So hopefully today we can go and see some ruins full of history and culture. Oh, it's freezing. Richard is not feeling cold at all because of excitement. So. Wow, look at that. Just arrived here at the viewpoint and look at the view, it's perfect. You know, I'm always mesmerized by whatever nature gives us. You know, um, this is my third time to be here in Pamukkale, but I always feel great about it. Look slippery. Guys, look slippery. Think the bottom castle or white traversed in um, it's, it's a bit slippery. Right. 
pomegranate and oranges. The pomegranates is their season this month, so there's loads of them in Turkey. Alright guys, so they have um, snacks and refreshments as well here, uh, just in case you didn't bring any food uh, for today's activities, uh, you can have them here. Um, they've got like a mini restaurant and they're selling some refreshments as well. Um, I, I just wondered, uh, they're selling ice cream, it's freezing here, but who knows, some kids might want some ice cream, so yeah. And they have some um, cool um, sweatshirts as well. Uh, just in case you're feeling cold at this time. Well, it's October. It's gonna be November soon. So now let's find out what my friends are up to. Oh, they're still here doing photos. Look, look at them. There you go. So, Chard, how how are you liking Pamukkale so far? Oh, I love it. You're loving it. Yes, I'm loving it. It's so nice. Well, it's good we came here. Um, Yes, but yesterday <laughs> we're going to the pool, Cleopatra's pool. Such a huge cock. Wow, finally we're here at the entrance of uh, the Cleopatra's pool, which is sometimes called the Pamukkale Antique Pool. So it is located here in Heriopolis near the White Travertines, but this is not a travertine pool. According to some locals, this pool was a gift from Mark Antony to Cleopatra and it's actually one of the most famous of Mark Antony's gift to Cleopatra during his time. As I was roaming around the geothermal pool, our um, tourist guide phoned us that um, we need to go back to the hotel to have breakfast because we need to go to another tourist destination. Wow, I'm pissed with the money to swim again this time. So, Pablo and Agamisa, Cotton Castle. Um, there should be no shoes or sleepers on. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, so we're going to descend now. Um, we're gonna walk um, all the way down to the base of this um, Travestine or the Cotton Castle. It's a little bit slippery, but just be very careful. Grabe, pagdating ng 10 o'clock, sobrang dumami ang mga turista. Overcrowd din na kayo, parang nakakatakot magpa-picture dun sa may um, viewpoint kasi baka may tulak pa lang. Tapos yung ibang turista, nakakaiba din ang trip o. Oh. Parang tingnan nyo si Kuya o. Oh. Hmm. May labas dila pang nalalaman o. Oh. Sige. Wow. Just in case you want some props or costumes on your photo shoots or video shoots, may shop sa taas na nagpaparent uh, ng mga costumes. No? Daming mga Asians na nag-avail actually nyan. So, yeah. Looks nice though. Looks like an angel. All right, guys. So, hindi kami makaalis alis dito dahil picture ng picture late kami sa breakfast. So yeah, mukang wala ng breakfast. Masila o. Grab. Maaraw, malakas ang araw pero malamig din. So yeah, if you come here by October, um, you should bring a jacket, really. So yeah. Sa kamasakit sa paaden pag nag Naglalakad ka dito na walang chinelas pero wala kang choice dahil you need to remove your shoes or slippers or else balibag ka sa baba dun dun sa bangin yan pag may chinelas ka sa patos na naglalakad dito sa hot kaset so
Hey, we're nil there. Hi guys, so finally nakarating na rin kami sa baba pero ang sakit-sakit ng mga paa namin um, reklamo na si Richard <laughs> Right, so ready for breakfast um, sana hindi pa sarado yung kitchen ng hotel so see but what an amazing experience I will always come back here if I have the chance um, ganda dito Welcome to Hotel Hall Tour. So brang lapit lang sa mga travelers tungo sa taas. So yeah, I recommend this hotel. It's really great. What are we having for breakfast? Olives, I love olives. Breakfast buffet, but I'm almost not put going. Look, I've got veggies and fruits and a bit of bread. But I'm not going to put it over it. So, yeah. Yes, I'm waiting for the omelette. Well, before leaving Pamukkale, I went back to this mini lake because I want to say goodbye to my dear friends, ducks and swans. Um, I always have fun feeding them every time I'm here in Pamukkale. So, and they're really cute. They're really cute. Bye, bye Pamukkale. I'll see you again next year. Alright guys, so that's the end of my Pamukkale vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And next time on my Turkish vlogs, I'm gonna show you around Saklikent, Kas and Batara. Bye for now. <laughs>